inches. Mm. You might do. Yeah. Give this one a try. You gotta be careful, guys, when you choose your wand. Well, go ahead. Sweet. Take it. I'm going to tell you right now. So you're going to choose your wand. And you get to choose from any of these designs. The design doesn't really matter. But what does matter, I'm going to tell you right now. How intriguing. It's not the wood type. How intriguing. I'm gonna get the. Where is it? I want dogwood. For no reason. And I want. How intriguing. 13 inches. Looks really. You want a little flexible. Glorious indeed. Not too flexible. How intriguing. Maybe a whip. Glorious indeed. Oh, this is right here where it matters. I'm gonna tell you right now. So let's let's read them carefully. It says Dragon Heart Spring, this one. A dragon heart spring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. It's just powerful. Here. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. It's reliable, I should say, okay. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Alright, so the feather. Phoenix that serves as a core wand capable of producing great range of magic. And the unicorn serves as a known to producing constant mass magic. So that's what I want. And I'm going to tell you why. For the constant ma magic, it's really useful for when you're doing battles, duels. So that's why I want that. Yeah, the dragon one will be a little bit more stronger, but you're but the recoil and the um the recharge is gonna be slower. And I guess for the Phoenix feather is gonna the range is gonna be longer. So I'm going with the unicorn. Oh, yes, and that's it. Okay. What do you think? Beginning of a bright and magical future. Ah, 
Um, glad to help, guys.